if all goes well and this section works, we'll be able to put this guy out in a controlled environment where we can monitor where the prosthesis goes to the skin for secondary infections and so forth. And we can build him a foot which will allow him to dig and burrow and make his own, uh, make his own place. And when the time comes, uh, even uh, use that leg or that foot to grab hold to his next girlfriend and be able to uh, then continue the species. All right, spent most of the morning working on this implant. This will be Billy LaRue's leg implant. I'll polish it up a little bit more, smooth out some of these little sharper edges. But that little groove right there is meant to go down a long way to keep this thing from spinning once it's in the bone and it's healed. The screw obviously keeps it in there. Those little bumps and stuff like that were actually added to uh, offer some more surface area. The tip was ground down to be a tri-point, just like your average bone pin. Then on this end, you can actually see how we have a lock, a lock nut and a large nut we can actually add the foot to. How's that for cool? Really kind of cool this this guy's story one he volunteered to come to Wilder Heart and two he's been there for the last nine years uh, stories I was recently told is uh, whenever this guy gets outside and a lot of times at Wilder Heart um, they'll actually put the animals out in the yard and watch them for a bit to see them do their thing this guy actually goes back to tries to, to uh, escape back to where he came from to begin with so we believe he probably has a, uh, a den there somewhere that he'd like to maintain the biggest reason I want to fix this guy is this guy's been stuck in a cage for nine years. Not that he's not spoiled rotten, but a cage living is not always the coolest. All right, here we are. I have no idea what time it is, but uh, just finished cleaning up some of the surgery stuff and taking a picture here. There's our implant. It's actually in there. Now, here's the strange part. As you were putting it in the bone and I pre-drilled the hole, it actually split the bone and has actually come off a little bit on the side. So, although as best I can tell it's in the bone, it has split it, so it's hard for me to say just how well this is going to work. But anyway, um, we're one step closer. This is pretty much where we are for now. We'll get some x-rays a little bit later once our buddy is awake. Um, we've actually got a good blink response over here. There you go. Um, so, so far, so good. Worst case scenario, I may have to, after we realize if this is going to be rejected or not, I may have to redrill another one and put a smaller implant in that side of the bone. But I think this is going to work. Um, this implant was specially made for that bone, but it was meant to be in the center of it and not cracked. So, 
that's where we're at for now. Um, before I say rudely interrupted, this is a pre-drilled hole. You can actually see where the hole is right there. Unfortunately, it although it was deep enough, it split the bone going through. So we're gonna have to make this whole new piece again and smaller and then put it in higher up inside that bone. It just looks like the implant um, either split the bone or the bone just wasn't as strong as it needed to be. I will tell you that when it came to the tissue in here, it did not start to bleed until it got about that deep. So a lot of that is pretty hard, but not very, uh, um, not very healthy bone. So we're gonna redo this uh, probably in about a week. I've gotta go in and make a whole new implant. And that's where we're at for now. I'm sorry, buddy. Get you some pain meds and we'll get you eaten in no time.